Hello everyone, my name is Space Dirt, and today, let's get musical. Music is a huge part of culture, and an element thereof that is enjoyed and at least somewhat familiar to most people. I myself quite enjoy both listening to and making music, so I thought it would be fun to engage in a bit of musical world building for the Riccioli people in my fictional archipelago. The Riccioli have a rich history of oral storytelling, and I wanted to combine this storytelling element with the music. So, I came up with a class of singing storytellers called Stegatirli, or narrators. These people go out into public spaces and will tell, or rather sing, various folk tales and stories. In addition, the music has a series of conventions that can also serve to communicate storytelling information, which I will elaborate on later. Firstly, let's discuss the scale and tuning system used by the Stegatirli. Before I explain the Riccioli's exact tuning system, though, let me first explain a couple of things. The first thing is the harmonic series. When something makes a sound, it generates a frequency called the fundamental frequency, as well as a series of overtones, which are all integer multiples of the fundamental. This means that the ratios between pitches are all simple whole number ratios, and we tend to like frequency relationships with these simple ratios. So we can try to incorporate them into our musical tuning through just intonation. Just intonation is a system in which pitch intervals are all nice integer ratios. Let's take a major third as an example. In just intonation, a major third is a 5 to 4 frequency ratio. Using A, or 440 hertz, as an example frequency, we can find the note a major third above it, or 550 hertz. This is what we would call a C-sharp. However, this isn't the C-sharp that pianos would tune to, because we use what's called an equal-tempered system. In this system, the octave is divided up into equal pieces, which leads to some pretty messy ratios, but nonetheless pretty good approximations of the actual pitches. This comes with the added advantage in that it sounds good in all keys since everything is divided up evenly, which does not occur in just intonation. This is just a quick explanation and I'm glossing over a lot of stuff, but hopefully this is sufficient for the video. Now, the reason that I went over the differences between just intonation and equal temperament is that I will be straying away from our familiar system of equal temperament in making a just intonation scale. For my scale, I went with a pentatonic or five note scale. The notes are the tonic, the minor second, the major third, the perfect fifth, and the minor seventh. These notes also have names, and I thought it would be cool to name them based on body parts, similar to the traditional names of the scale degrees in the Pelog and Slendro scales of Indonesian gamelan music. So, in order, they're called Du, J, El, Ram, and Shu, which come from shortened forms of the proto tsvamshik words meaning eye, mouth, heart, knee, and foot, respectively. Since this music is being used to tell stories, vocal music is the obvious choice here. I also decided to have it be unaccompanied for the most part, though the practice varies quite a bit from town to town, and some people may carry small string instruments to provide some light accompaniment while they sing. Rhythm is also not a major concern, with performers being able to slow down and speed up as they choose. Going back to the idea of the music itself being used for storytelling purposes, I had the idea to have a series of conventions regarding different types of embellishments, or zintenjesish. While normally each syllable of a word will get one note, different embellishments can be added to have more than one note per syllable and convey some sort of emotion to enhance the storytelling. There are three main types of zintenjes, named based on their general contour. There's nzbech, or rising, which conveys a general rising action, excitement, or happiness, and has a rising contour. Nzdeud, or falling, can convey resolution or completeness, though it can also be used for some sad effects. It has a general descending contour. Finally, nzuhara, or turning, conveys an abrupt shift or surprise, and this is characterized by a change in direction in the pitch contour. All of these can be either boha, or large, when they're very melismatic and exaggerated, and carry a heightened emotional connotation, or itequi, meaning small, which conveys a more subtle feeling. 
Now, this wouldn't be a complete video about music without an example, and since I cannot sing well whatsoever, my friend Agma Schwa was gracious enough to do a rendition of a little excerpt of the story showcased at the end of my Rachel's in Showcase video, which you should watch if you haven't already. Agma Schwa has also done other Conlang songs on his channel, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already. Enjoy, subscribe, and I will now leave you with Nga's beautiful singing. O poch, lot o lich tvis djukir, pia repes. O chals i hedjosen, zip shur. Nzme wesh, mi kwa, o lich tvis Kid poski ki, lol poski ki, lol po ki, eres vodi. Shole chos pes, oli agus tu puma vojals ne. Yo sends run God.